I started doing it on a whim. My brother has an unhealthy obsession with online bloggers. I can barely go a day without him linking me to a video of someone taking part in some sort of challenge or performing some social experiment. So when the whole deep web mystery box trend started, I was one of the first to know. My brother must have sent me dozens of videos of annoying preteens opening up boxes filled with junk that they tried to pass off as creepy and sinister. When my brother asked me for my opinion, I told him that it combined all the boredom of an unboxing video with all the stupidity of the Tide Pod challenge. I added that most of them were probably making the boxes themselves. Even I could do it. And that's when the wheels started turning. A quick search confirmed that this was a growing trend, with hundreds of people claiming to have opened up boxes containing everything, from drugs to murder weapons to mysterious flash drives. Some vloggers even claimed that they had spent thousands of dollars on a single mystery box. Those were obviously fake. But what about the rest? Were there really people out there who would spend at least a hundred dollars for the chance to go viral? I bet they would. And unfortunately I was right. Putting the boxes together was easier than expected. I had some cardboard boxes stuffed in my closet that turned out to be the perfect size for the job. Some rusty screwdrivers proved perfect as my murder weapons. My desk drawer offered a surplus of random old flash drives that I made mystery box ready by filling them with many creepy videos which I downloaded. Finally, some expired sinus tablets provided me with some mysterious deep web drugs once I had peeled off the labels. Getting the website set up on the deep web was a little harder, but you can find an online tutorial for anything these days. By the time I was ready to go to bed, I was the proud owner of the Emporium of Mysteries. For $50 worth of Bitcoin, anyone could be the proud owner of a mystery box. Sure, the site looked like it had come straight out of the early 90s, but it was good enough. I was in business. The next morning, I went looking for customers. Fortunately, my brother's messages had made me very familiar with the online blogging community, and I messaged a few of the smaller channels with some burner accounts that I made, and left a few comments on the latest videos. You should do a deep web unboxing video. You know what would be really cool? Unboxing something from the deep web. I bet you'd get millions of views. I heard about this new place on the deep web called Emporium of Mysteries. They sell mystery boxes there. You should check them out. Then all I had to do was to sit back and wait. By the end of the day, I had six purchases. Not much all put together, but enough to help put food on the table. By the end of the afternoon, I had the boxes ready to ship. I wasn't looking to scam these people after all. They all got to make their stupid videos, and I got to eat. Everyone was happy. I sold a few more over the next few weeks, but eventually interest died down. Life went on, and my brother sent me more stupid videos, and I gradually forgot about my time as a deep web merchant. Until last Friday. When I got home from work, there was a package waiting for me outside my apartment's door. When I picked it up and examined it, I realised it was one of my mystery boxes. It looked like I had an unhappy customer, but it wasn't like they were getting their money back. I took it inside and opened it up. It was empty, save for a flash drive that I did not recognise. I was curious what was on it, but I wasn't about to let some disgruntled hacker infect my computer. So I dug out an old laptop that I hardly used anymore and plugged it in. It was full of pictures. Pictures of my hometown, of my apartment, of me. Whoever sent me this had been following me, had been inside my home, and staring at those pictures, I started to realise just how out of my depth I was. You see, not everything you find on the deep web is fake. There are some people out there who do sell real mystery boxes, and they are tired of scammers like me, 
taking away from their profits. Thankfully, they are also very generous people and want to give me a second chance. So I'm pleased to announce the Emporium of Mysteries is under new management. Now, for the same low price, you will receive a genuine mystery box. It will include a special tool from my new partner's personal collection, along with a video instructing you of how to use it, co-starring myself. The body part or organ extracted during the video will also be included as a special memento. Supplies are limited, so search us on the deep web as soon as possible. We look forward to your business.